a shy as <laughs> Um, I think this is girl on the team. Her name's Mary Perkins. She's pretty shy, actually. It's crazy. Oh my god, that's easy. That's Mary. She literally never talks. Um, that's kind of a tough question, honestly. I think it kind of comes down between Mary and Mary. I think it might be Mary. Who is least likely to date a guy named Josh for five years? Oh, that's hard because that could be so many people. Um, I'll say Mary, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to say Mary again, actually. Uh, I think she's dating a queen or something. Um, probably Mary, because I don't think she's ever had a boyfriend. His name's Josh. Mary would never date a guy named Josh. <laughs> Most likely to have to quarantine for two weeks and test negative for COVID four times. That one's definitely gonna have to go to Mary. It may or may not have happened this year. Yes. Oh, Mary. <laughs> it's actually this girl named Mary too. It's crazy how like it's all the same person, but it's Mary. What is one word to describe Mary? She's really boring. Just like a really loving human being. Joyful. Lively. Energetic. Hilarious. Uplifting. Joy. Sweet. Crazy. Blissful. How do you describe Mary in one word? Uh, hysterical. Enthusiastic. Um, hilarious. Performer. Hilarious. Energetic. Wild. Hilarious. Outgoing. Crazy. Um, definitely dramatic. Get off of her! Get off of her! Lindsay, Lindsay, let go of me! Tashi, hold my hair! Oh no! And favorite memory or thing? Um, my favorite memory of Mary would probably be over the summer when we had to make these videos for Instagram and uh, she was singing to the Taylor Swift song and then our video was apparently not right for COVID times, so... Favorite thing about Mary? I don't know, she's always hyping people up. And then I like when she just breaks into song randomly. Keeps things kind of interesting on the bus. Probably just her encouraging speeches before the, every single game, specifically the ones that she gives me personally. When I roomed with her and Amber at Georgia State my freshman year and we watched a really scary movie and it was really funny. Her buzzer beater goal. Definitely we're laughing so loud and we almost crashed the bus. Is when she makes fun of my accent and calls me Sophia Vergara. <laughs> Mary plays the strength coach in every senior video. I was sitting on the plane and it literally got stuck on the runway and so I just got out and pushed it myself. Her energy on and off the field. Um, when we're in her car and she would not play guest up no matter how much I asked her to. We were playing Mafia and uh, she told that I was the murderer. Her elaborate storytelling during the Kill or Be Killed game. <laughs> Drew is, she's locked up. Oh, Drew's oh, behind bars. Out of nine. Welcome. Killer, still on the loose. Go for um, Don't come go. go. Um, traveling on the bus for eight hours and her not, never, not talking. Um, her ability to write in any room that she walks into. That she could be on Broadway. Bringing so much joy and light to the team. Um, I just, I literally can't choose one because they're all just so good. Mary, you're so irreplaceable. Her ability to make everyone laugh. Honestly, anytime we're in the locker room before the game, she's dancing. Her pregame dances and entertainment. <laughs> I don't remember which game it was, but her and Audrey were both in the locker room dancing, and it was hilarious. visit when I sat on Mary's bunk bed and watched her and Audrey perform a whole routine that they later performed on game day. Um, favorite thing about Mary is definitely that she's always happy. Uh, she sings and dances all the time so it kind of just brings up the mood whenever uh, we need it. I actually think she's really funny. There's not a lot of people that can genuinely make me laugh but the interactions between her and Kelly are actually pretty funny. Um, she likes to sing a lot. I don't love her singing, but I like her little little humorous things on the sides. Um, I always walk in at the most awkward times when Mary and Audrey are dancing in the locker room. So <laughs> there's been a few that have been a little inappropriate that I've been like, okay. Like I had to exit stage left and come back in again. Um, but I think probably the bowling alley, just because Mary like fully embraces, the way Mary is, she just like full on embraces everything and goes all out. And you're, you're never questioning whether or not she's gonna buy into something. She's gonna be fully in. Jovial. 
Can you tell us the meaning of that? Full of life. <laughs> Loud, <laughs> crazy, and funny. I have grown to love Mary. <laughs> uh, how long do you have? <laughs> Just keep doing you, keep being who you are, uh, embrace that, and embrace your craziness. Just keep dancing. Uh, always be yourself. Um, I think Mary has a pretty mature head on her shoulders, um, so I thought someone was behind me. So um, just always be yourself and do, do everything the best that you can. To always be you and to like fully embrace what your gifts are because you're just such a great person and you relate to people so well. So um, definitely embrace that in every aspect of life and your job and everything and um, you're going to be super successful. All right, we have Mary Perkins here, senior forward. Uh, Mary, I'm going to ask you a few questions. My okay. first question for you is, what is your most memorable soccer moment? My most memorable soccer moment, personally, would probably be when, I forget who we were playing, but I was in, and I felt horrible, actually, in the game, but they were counting down from 10, and, Ten, nine, eight, seven, and they eight. got like, five. Four and O played Perkins me a ball, a and I turned and I was so far out, and I just freaking oh, and she's found the back laser of the net. goal, buzzer beater. All right, that's a good one. Could you please sing the chorus to your favorite song? I don't know if this is my favorite song, but I've been listening to this song a lot, so. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, what's next for you? Next for me is um, graduating and stepping out into the real world, getting a big girl job, getting a big girl apartment, making a little bit of money, and uh, just living my life soccer free for the first time in what will be 22, wait, I only played soccer, probably like 18 years. Okay. Um, and then the last question is, what advice do you have for your, your younger self, like your freshman self? My advice would be um, worry about things that are actually important, being a good teammate, being there for the people around you, um, controlling only what you can control and not letting things out of your control um, upset you or alter your mood ever and just... Um, be happy. I like that. Thank you so much, Mary. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Mary, how six years. <laughs> Josh, six years. Oh. Six years. Where are you going to have for lunch? Boston. I, I'm from there. So I probably go eat there, you know. I'm like from there. Totally from Boston. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people tell me I look like Miley Cyrus when I see it. You know, Miley Cyrus is famous. I could be famous. I am probably famous. You just don't know it yet. Yeah. Now I'm tubing. <laughs> totally tubing. Gushing blood, head injury. Todd tells me to go back home. Go back home. Todd goes back out, makes a friend. Friend is a doctor. Doctor comes back, wakes me up, stitch my head. No hospital. Todd's still best man ever, though. Yeah. Julie was such a bad performer. Horrible. She sits, she stands there in the middle like this. You know, if it was me, a real pop star, I'd be like one, two, three, shimmy, 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 close, open. Okay, everyone put their heads down. Killer, wake up. Warren. Let's go, I'm killing mentality and touching season! Pumpkin spice latte? Yeah, well, no, I hate pumpkin. You should know this. I hate pumpkin. Oh. so bad. <laughs> what are you even laughing at? I don't know. I mean, it's just funny. I just laugh at everything. How is that not offside? I don't need, I don't get this for it. What's going on? Oh, hi, Pepe. Oh my god, I miss you so much. You're so cute. All right, so who needs ice? Actually, fingers, numbers. I need numbers. How many? Guys, in reality is that the reality of the reality is that in reality, in the end, the reality is, well, deal? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I have a funny story. <laughs> My dog, it fell down the stairs. <laughs> All right, guys, on the line. All right, jog up, jog back. Yeah. All right, skip out, jog back.
Good. Jog up. Three quarters back. All right. Sprint out to me. This right back. All right. Do it again. Do it again. All right. All right. Yeah. Force me. Yeah. Force me out. Yeah. Come on, Momo. Yeah. Good job, kid. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Oh, you got the ball. Good. 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 Guys, we say it all the time. We turn and what? We turn and what? We turn and run. We turn and run when we're defending. <laughs> Really watching my caffeine intake, only about four or five cups a day now. Okay, can we make runs here? Slashing runs, slashing runs. Get it behind the back. Move here, move here. Got it? These are the pockets. <laughs> Daily, warm up. Okay, so attacking free kicks are going to be in the wall. Defensive corner is going to be front post. Move this person here. Make Izzy go here. Move this run here. And then get the ball here. Um, defensive corners are going to be here. Got that? Touch. Stick to the game plan. I need some Gatorade. It's my birthday tomorrow. Seely, drive in the pocket. Tess. What do you want? Oh, you want to know where my mask is? It's right here. But COVID is stupid. So. Oh, fuck off. anymore. I'm retired. I haven't worked out in like eight months. Honestly, it was just such a good team win. Oh my gosh, my friends made me, Audrey's making me laugh in the background, but it was such an awesome day. We scored three goals, which we needed to do. Gotta start putting balls in the back of the net more, so it was a really good day for us. Hey Mary, I just wanted to say happy senior day. Go out there, kick some ass. I always thought that I would be in the locker room with you on senior day, but sadly I can't be, but I wish I could, but we'll all be in the stands cheering for you. You're my best friend in the whole world food on my face um and without you I can't um, I can't even think of the game of soccer without thinking of you like you're my best friend I ever made through soccer you're my best friend ever you have the best and toughest mindset out of any person I've ever met you've always inspired me you kept me going in the fitness test even <laughs> on the one where we both got last in because we just mentally checked out um just go out ball out today I know it's been a crazy four years you deserve it more than freaking anyone. I wish I could be there. I wish we could shake that booty in the locker room together one last time. But I know you're going to go out there and ball out today. I love you so much. Your whole team adores you. We always have. Even though I'm on the team. They do. It's obvious. Everyone you meet adores you. You're the most contagious personality. And just you always make sure everyone's happy and having a good time. And I can't imagine any better qualities than a teammate. So happy senior day. I love you. And I'm sorry I made you miss five games because coronavirus. Love you! I can't believe your four years in college is done. Um, it's unbelievable. I can remember yesterday starting off at Strikers, you playing with the boys, beating them up a little bit, and the coaches coming to me saying, I think this girl has something special. You've worked your butt off. Um, you've gone through ups and downs, but you always kept grinding kept pushing, kept working hard, and it's got you so far, you can't believe how proud I am of you. You know, those, the thing about working hard in sports, to me, transitions to what you do the rest of your life. If you can do it playing sports, life is very similar. Whether you're working for somebody that you're struggling with, you put your head down, you grind, you work super hard, and you get through it. That's what life's all about, and uh, that's what you've done. You've earned everything. You've done it the right way. I'm super, super proud of you. You are going to go so far in life because you're not afraid to work hard. You're not afraid of the objections that you're going to come across. You're just going to grind. And to me, that's what it's all about. I love you. I am so, so proud of you. You are so much to me and your brother. And uh, I hope nothing but the best. I will always be here for you. And thank you for letting me come on this ride with you. Love you, baby. Hey, Miss Mary. You know, there are very few moments in life when we get to tell someone publicly what a blessing they are. So I am thankful to have a moment to share how awesome God is for giving me a daughter that would come into this world with as much energy and joy and love as you have. Today, we get to celebrate this final chapter in your soccer journey. 
And when I think back to you being a little girl, I don't think there was this one moment where you decided you wanted to play soccer. I think you were just born to play soccer. You were from a very early age, so gifted at the sport, but even more so there was something in your leadership and your spirit on and off the field. You were always a game changer. You had from a very early age, this surprisingly large appetite for the challenges that were put before you. And what's more is you almost appeared to not be phased by any risks. In fact, you may have relished them. And you know, people who are game changers are different because they offer a unique and a rare ability. They can see what others can't. And game changers possess a drive to turn what they see into reality. And this was your gift. And so I am wishing you the greatest finish to a blessed soccer career in these next few weeks. Love your soccer family well, dig in with as much grit as you can muster and celebrate your perseverance through the journey. Hey Mary, just wanted to say congrats on a incredible four years. I'm so proud, um, first of all, to be your brother, but I'm so proud of what you've done on the field and in the classroom, your whole soccer and academic career. Um, I've always admired that about you. Um, you've always had an incredible drive. You're always willing to work hard. And um, that's something I try to instill in myself every single day. And I get that from you. Um, you know, you're a person who, when you walk into the room, um, the room lights up. You can put a smile on anyone's face. Um, I'm so, so happy that you're my sister. And I know you can, I'm always there for you and you're always there for me. Um, so once again, just wanted to say congrats. I love you and um, go kill it out there. Hey Mary, so I was asked to give you a little shout out, talk about you and your soccer career for your senior day. Um, we both know I'm terrible at these things and this is probably take 45 at this point, honestly. So anyways, the first soccer memory I have of you goes back to high school. We had just started dating. You were a sophomore, I was a junior. Um, I don't remember the first game I came to, but I do remember that every game I did come to, if there ever was a free kick, you would step up and everybody in the stands would take their phones out and film because we all knew something special was about to happen. Um, used to put balls in from 40, 50 yards, 40 yards out, it was crazy, it was crazy to watch. I used to go back to school the next day and show all my friends the videos and they wouldn't believe me, uh, it was crazy. And going on to college, you know, being with you the past three years, and being there and watching you go through this grind, um, it was crazy to watch, that's for sure. Uh, you know, soccer year round, not getting to hang out as much as you'd like, but you know, we stuck it out, you stuck it out. You did it for four years and I couldn't be more prouder. Um, you're the most driven girl I've ever met. You're the most competitive girl I've ever met, that's for sure. We've had our fair share of battles, playing Monopoly or playing pickup basketball on a six foot goal in my driveway. Uh, but also you're, you're the toughest girl I've ever met. And I love you and I'm super proud of you once again. Uh, you did it, you stuck it out. Can't believe it's been four years, but you know, you got a bright future ahead of you. <clears throat> Everything you've been through the past four years is only gonna benefit you in the future and you're gonna be super successful. I tell that to everyone behind your back when you're not around, is you're gonna be successful no matter what. Uh, once again, I'm proud of you and I love you. Gotta go.